Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and the peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. I'm going to ask you to just be silent for a moment. Oh, darn it. There. These fellows are working in the church, and you can hear their tools, and so I just wanted everybody to know um, in, in uh, the scriptures, one of the Psalms says, make a joyful noise to the Lord. Well, to us who have been waiting for the reconstruction of our church, those saws and hammers and drills are a joyful noise uh, because we know that our church is being refurbished and things are happening very fast. I'd like to welcome our visitors here today and uh, all those who are joining us online. We've been asked to pray today in a special way to honor Fernie's mother, Tarsiana Libiran, Libiran, whose second anniversary of passing away is today. And we also pray and remember Pearl Strong's husband, Halid, whose 45th birthday is today. Today in the Gospel, Jesus challenges the ways that we sometimes are childish in our judgments and labels. And labels are ways that we are able to avoid truly thinking through something in our lives. So the ways that we live by superficial judgments. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. So the ways that we put distance between ourselves and others because of labels, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. And for the ways that we have been able to see through our own judgments and move towards more genuine relationships with others, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Grant that your people, we pray, Almighty God, may be ever watchful for the coming of your only begotten Son, that, as the author of our salvation himself has taught us, we may hasten, alert with lighted lamps, to meet him when he comes. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am the Lord your God, who teaches you for your own good, who leads you in the way you should go. Oh, that you had paid attention to my commandments, then your prosperity would have been like a river, and your success like the waves of the sea. Your offspring would have been like the sand, and your descendants like, like its grains. Their name would never be cut off or destroyed from before me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, letter response B. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Happier those who do not follow the advice of the wicked, or take the path that sinners tread, or sit in the seat of scoffers, but their delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law they meditate day and night. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. They are like trees planted by streams of water, which yield their fruit in its season, and their leaves do not wither. In all that they do, they prosper. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of 
Why? The wicked are not so, but are like shaft that the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Please stand to honor the gospel. All together we acclaim. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord will come, go out to meet him. He is the Prince of Peace. Alleluia, alleluia. with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus continued to speak to the crowds about John the Baptist. To what will I compare this generation? It is like children sitting in the marketplaces and calling to one another. We played the flute for you and you did not dance. We wailed and you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking and they say he has a demon. The son of man came eating and drinking and they say look a glutton and a drunkard a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Yet, wisdom is vindicated by her deeds. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There was a young priest who went to the parish and people complained his mass is too long he doesn't belong to today's world. So he said <coughs> people were not happy, so he asked for a transfer. Another priest came, and he was moving with the people, eating and drinking, dancing and singing. <laughs> then people said, uh, he doesn't behave like a priest. So he was forced to ask for a transfer. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, I'd like to teach you only one Cree word today. <laughs> I often hear, I've heard many times, and sasipita, <laughs> that is stubborn. <laughs> stubborn. <laughs> Somebody says sasipita means stubborn. <laughs> How many times uh, you have said to others, or others have told you that if only you had listened to my words or my advice, this would not have happened. And often we hear parents telling the children who are in trouble. How many times? How many times, you know? If only you had listened. This is what we keep hearing from the Old Testament. And Prophet Isaiah, even today, puts a similar words in the mouth of God. God wanted the best for his people. I teach you what is good for you. I lead you in the way you must go. And same thing, responsorial psalm that stresses the blessing of that flow from those who follow God's law, uh, the guiding rule for their lives. It compares them to a tree planted beside a stream. So if you have seen a river, both sides of the river, you see the trees are evergreen. Even the leaves do not fall. Well, far away you will see barren land. And so people cannot be forced. Even God refuses to force people to do his work. Because our freedom is sacred. Our freedom is sacred. We are the only creatures who can say no. And we are the only creatures who can also say yes. So listening to God's will is so crucial to our lives. How do we listen? 
And I always tell people that God talks to us in silence. He answers our prayers in silence. So in the silence of our hearts, we discern what is it that God is telling me. And so if we listen his ways, we are blessed. And so the stubbornness of heart, we often say children, but this also creeps into adulthood and also the elders. We have so many or few who are stubborn. Stubborn and stubborn, that's the way. And you know, anyone for that matter, they reap their consequences for being stubborn either way, either way. So, may we stand as we are called to listen to his, God's will for us. Each one is unique before God. Lord, here we are, standing before you. May you always guide us. Help us to seek your will for us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> and it's a special day for Paul Strong family as they celebrate Halim's 45th birthday. So may God bless him with the good health of mind and body and may the family be blessed with their children. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we also think of uh, um, Tassina Liberan. Bernie's uh, mother, second year of death anniversary. May God grant her eternal rest. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And we continue our prayers for the repose of the souls of Claudita, Nick, Nico, and Melanie. This morning, Mary Bear <coughs> called me from Saskatoon asking our special prayers for these three souls that she has buried them. For God's eternal rest. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we continue our prayers for our brother, Conrad <coughs> Martino. And he's really struggling in his health with uh, liver failure and all others who are struggling. We have our friends, Brian Kern, Yvonne's daughter, and Helen, and many others for God's healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our workers who began work a week before and they continue. May they work safely. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Any other prayers you have? <coughs> uh, I would like to ask for continued prayer and good healing for her eyes like she has really seen her way out. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For my family, for her conversion, they wish I pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For my son, the other day, in November of COVID, in Los Angeles, California, Lord, hear our prayer. I pray for my children who have left the church. I pray for all those who have and I pray for a path to come back to the Catholic Church. Lord, Lord, Lord hear Lord. our prayer. And for all these prayers and the prayers that are still remaining in our hearts, Lord, you know that grant us according to your holy will. Grant We ask all these graces through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.
that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of the distant name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray to our rescue with the protection of your mercy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with you your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them, them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which we now dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and the powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks he broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his <coughs> disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood the blood of the new and the eternal covenant. It will be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The 
mystery of faith. When we give this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Richard, our Bishop, and all the people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. We remember Tassina Libera whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. And welcome them all into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. So we pray now to the Father as Jesus taught. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and forever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And with your spirit. We show one another a sign of Christ's peace. This is Jesus who came into our world to help us to know what to truly dance for and what to truly mourn. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter and enter. 
Those of you that are joining us online, we gather our hearts now together to that one Spirit of God within us that produces a communion for all those who follow Jesus in faith. Let us pray. <coughs> Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, 
you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and to hold to the things of heaven we ask this through christ our lord Amen. the lord be with you and may almighty god bless you all the father the son and the holy spirit Amen. we go in peace to love and to serve the lord Thanks be to God. Uh, a few thank yous, yes. Let's come and, uh, Halid, uh, we s pray a special birthday blessing on you, 45 years. May Almighty God bless you and your family, and may this year be a great year of peace and joy for you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Yes, good to have you with us. Happy birthday. Yes, and happy birthday, and thanks, uh, Cecilia and Rosa, for... Uh, and Bernie for leading us with music today, and Juan for all the sandwiches and all the bread you will slice perfectly today. We give thanks, and Christine, for all the work, and Michelle, and Ron, and Carol, and all our volunteers, for Jake, for all his work here of service. We ask God's blessing, and we recognize you, and uh, we give thanks. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.